The first North Korean military units that have undergone training at training grounds in eastern Russia have arrived in the war zone. They were spotted in Russia's Kursk Oblast, where Ukrainian forces are conducting an operation, on October 23. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported this. The first North Korean military units that have been trained at training grounds in eastern Russia have arrived in the war zone of the Russo-Ukrainian War. In particular, they were seen in Russia's Kursk Oblast on October 23, 2024. The North Korean troops who arrived in Russia are being trained at five military training grounds located in the east of the aggressor state, Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine noted that North Korean military personnel, whom Russia intends to use in the war against Ukraine, have several weeks to train. Ukrainian intelligence added that the number of North Korean troops deployed to Russia is currently around 12,000, including 500 officers, particularly three Pyongyang generals. The Kremlin has high hopes for the North Korean component in the war against Ukraine and the global confrontation with the West. Recently, South Korean intelligence reported that Pyongyang had sent 3,000 troops to Russia to support Russian forces in their war against Ukraine and is also trying to isolate the families of selected soldiers in a certain place to prevent information from spreading. Moscow and Pyongyang deny any arms transfers but have pledged to strengthen military ties by signing a mutual defense treaty at a summit in June. The Kremlin has dismissed as fake news South Korea's claim that Russia was sending North Korean troops to war. Russian President Vladimir Putin held a press conference at the conclusion of the BRICS summit in Kazan. Putin was repeatedly asked about the continuing hostilities between Moscow and Kiev and Kursk operation. The Russian army is acting confidently in all directions, this is also well known, no one denies it, it is moving forward in all areas of the combat contact line. It is also actively working in the Kursk direction. Part of the Ukrainian army unit that invaded the Kursk region is blocked, surrounded, this is approximately 2,000 people. Attempts are being made to unblock this group from the outside, to break through from the inside, so far unsuccessfully. The Russian army has begun to eliminate this group, Putin said. Recall, military units from North Korea have left their Russian training grounds and entered the zone of combat between Russian and Ukraine forces for the first time, the Military Defense Intelligence Service of Ukraine said. They will fight against Ukrainians in Kursk. Putin has not confirmed or denied the presence of North Korean troops in his country. At the BRICS summit, the Kremlin leader said it was not Russia's actions that led to the escalation, and accused Western countries of helping Ukraine fight Moscow. Instead, he recalled that Russia's parliament had ratified an agreement on a comprehensive strategic partnership with North Korea, signed by Putin in Pyongyang this summer, where both promise mutual assistance in case of aggression against one of the signatories. Let's see how this process goes, Putin said. 
While the Kremlin has insisted that Russia has the right to enter into any military cooperation it wishes with North Korea, and that any military activity is not aimed at third countries, Pyongyang has dismissed the news that North Korean troops are primed to enter Russia's war as groundless rumors. Kiev and Seoul say Moscow is planning to involve thousands of North Korean troops in its full-scale war. Commander-in-Chief of Ukrainian Armed Forces Oleksandr Sersky has said that Russia has lost 17,819 troops since the start of Ukraine's cross-border incursion into Russia's Kursk region on August 8. Some 6,662 Russian troops have been killed, 10,446 other injured and 711 Russian servicemen have been taken hostage since the start of hostilities in Kursk. Sersky made the remarks in a war briefing on Friday. Russia also suffered heavy losses in terms of military hardware as 45 tanks 256 armored combat vehicles, 565 units of automotive equipment, 99 artillery systems and 5 multiple launch rocket systems belonging to Russia were destroyed in Kursk region since the start of hostilities there, Sersky stated. The military official also denied Kremlin's claims about surrender of 2,000 Ukrainian troops in Kursk. Sersky said that Vladimir Putin's recent remarks voiced at the BRICS summit about the encirclement of Ukrainian troops in the Kursk region does not correspond to reality. This is outright misinformation and does not reflect the real situation. Sersky said Ukrainian troops continue active operations in Kursk region, destroying Russian combat potential for the third month in a row. The military official thanked Ukrainian servicemen for endurance and true courage in the direction of Kursk. Earlier, on the same day, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said his country was using Kursk as a buffer zone on Russian territory that protects Ukraine from Russian attempts to expand the war in the east of the country.